Hi everyone, welcome to Top Handle. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about brands that I think are better than designer handbags. Now, I'm not here to trash talk designer brands because of course we love them to death. We love the quality, the look. Hey, I even own some as well. But I wanna give a spotlight to those brands that we don't really typically hear that much about, but they offer such great quality bags and such unique types of shapes and styles and at such a good price point. Because I know sometimes looking at brands like Hermes and Chanel can of course offer very beautiful bags, but the price point might scare you off a little bit. So I just wanted to introduce everybody to some new brands that they may have never heard of. And most of the brands that I'm gonna be introducing offer a very minimalist type of style design to them. So when I say minimalist, what I mean is brands that don't just blatantly put on their logo right onto the front of their bags or onto the fabric pattern that they offer onto their bags. So something very minimalist, very subtle, classy, type of designs. So starting off this list is a brand that I love and I just recently got gifted one of their bags and that's from Esther Ekme. So Esther Ekme is a Danish brand that works with top graded leathers to create very modern design bags. So for Christmas I got one of their tote bags and I'm in love with the shape of this bag because I just remember I was once at a cafe just here in the city and I saw a girl with this bag and I just had to know what it was because it was so unique, it was so eye-catching and that's what I just kind of loved about this brand is that they created this beautiful silhouette with their bags. And with the shape of it, it nestles perfectly underneath my arm but it looks so modern compared to a very regular type of tote bag. If you are a fan of the Celine box bag or just Celine style in general, I would consider APC. APC develops minimalist style clothing and bags for everyday use. They are a French brand that embodies a casual but stylish look to them. Some of the bags that I recommend are the Grace and the Charlotte bags that are very similar to the Celine box bag. And of course, if you look at a side-by-side -side comparison of them, they look very similar in the style, but of course the only difference is the price point. Next on my list is Emily Pichard. What I love about this brand is that they offer very beautiful bags and, a, and they have a very unique emblem on the bags that of course if you know the brand and can spot it then you know exactly what it is without of course having to write in big bold letters or a logo of course in regards to what this brand is as you would see with brands like Gucci or Louis Vuitton for example. And the brand also stands up for small businesses in the industry who want to make a difference and be seen comparing to the big box brands that we have. So on their website they wrote, our choice to not to aim for rapid growth is not due to a lack of ambition but it's a conscious decision we want to find a way to remain humble and agile adopt practices that minimize our environmental footprint while maximizing our social impact we want to be able to take the time to think create and engage instead of focusing on making profits the easy way so one of the things that they do is they offer their products made to order to help reduce waste and not overproduce products in the market and this is great because then it reduces the amount of clothing that we dispose and this is of course due to the overproduction of clothing and bags that we have with brands like fast fashion but of course designer brands too who will actually throw out their products ATP Atelier is famously known for the swoosh design of their bags, such as their Bulgari bag. However, I think the beautiful thing with this brand is that, is that the company started with a very unique story and of course meaning for their design. They're trying to encompass the Italian and Swedish type of lifestyle with the attention to details and materials with their design, but want to give a feeling of comfort with identifying who you are and what you love to do. Little Lifner is a combination of a Scandinavian and Italian design by offering bags that are contemporary, sculptured, and timeless. Now their bags are very eye-catching and one of the bags that I absolutely love is a tulip-shaped tote bag. And I could easily see myself wearing this type of bag to some sort of seaside vacation or even to the local farmer's market just to pick up produce. What is the most common work tote bag that you typically see? That would be the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, which makes sense as it is a bag that essentially carries all your day-to-day -day needs. Ine and Helga wanted to revolutionize the workplace bag and develop the company Kai to perfect the work bag for those that need to fit all their essential needs for the day, but still have a standard with their style. They got the inspiration from the colors and the design from Art Deco to make their bags. And they developed their bags for the modern successful woman who needs to run from meeting to meeting, run in and out of the office but still want to look very put together. 
Neos is an Italian brand that blends minimalism with femininity into their style. They use the highest quality and natural graded materials for their target market. The Modern Realist, who is someone who is curious, dynamic, and versatile as stated on their website. So if you're looking for something similar to a Louis Vuitton bucket bag, for example, I would look at the Sigma bag, which comes in many different colors. And if you want a statement piece, I would consider the Jupiter bag, which is a sculptural oval style type of bag, which I think is very sophisticated. Do you consider yourself to be dark, modern, reserved, and creative, then I would consider the brand Sonia Lee. Sonia Lee is based in Canada and offers elevated leather bags that come in various silhouettes. So one of my favorite bags is the Victoria Serpentine bag that has a chain shoulder strap and customizable three digit code lock at the front of the bag. And this bag is perfect for casual type of adventures and of course for a night out on the town. Hartuan's classic bags are inspired by origami and jewelry. When the company first started, they only offered three colors, which were black, burgundy, and red, and eventually they introduced orange, which became their most famous bestseller in color. Hartuan is based in Montreal, Canada, and has been nominated for various types of awards, such as at the Canadian Fashion Awards. And what I love about this bag is that they combined origami shape into the style of the bag. For example, in one of their bags, the Tomi 2, with an origami closure at the front of the bag. I used to live in Australia a couple years ago, and one brand that I would see on every other woman was Mimco. Mimco offered individuality, collectability, and quality into all of their products. And they offered many different types of styles, so you can easily find bags for whatever type of occasion you have, and at a great price as well. So if you're into bags such as the Chloe Woody Tote or the Prada Crossbody Bag, I would look into the Stevie Tote Bag and the Jet Crossbody Bag, which are very similar to those. Lastly, we have Porto, which offers very beautiful pouch style type of bags using Napa goat leather and is made in Italy. Now this bag does draw a lot of comparison to of course the Bottega Veneta pouch bag, but for the price point and quality, you can't go wrong with getting a Porto pouch bag as it's practically a dupe for the Bottega Veneta and still is offered in a great quality material. But the unique thing that they do offer is the handle loop that you can easily carry the bag on your arm. So I hope this list offers you a great variety of brands that you have never been introduced to before. So when you're looking for bags, you honestly don't need to stick to, of course, the major high-end designers. As I've shown, there are many small brands out there from various different countries that offer very similar types of styles or something very unique that you will never find from a designer brand. And besides, who wants to be a basic or a copy in this market? Because you see a lot of girls wearing the same style type of bag. So if your style is very unique and original, I would very much consider going after these small type of brands. Now, thanks for joining. If you have any other brands that you recommend, definitely include them into the comments down below because I would love to be introduced to some other brands if you know some. And I'll see you guys in the next video.